American Motors is now out of the big car business, having dropped its full-sized Matador. And with AMC's emphasis now totally on small cars for 1979, comes the introduction of an all-new car, the Spirit Liftback. While the Spirit sedan strongly resembles the old AMC Gremlin, the liftback model sports fresh styling all around. Base price of the liftback is $44.30, including freight. Our nicely equipped test car listed at $64.21. Exterior workmanship on our Spirit was good, and the car boasts a paint stripe, not the usual tape. The overall paint job was on the dull side, but because of what we've become used to from Detroit, I'll rate it average. The interior of the subcompact Spirit is far more luxurious than anything in its class. Corduroy bucket seats are standard, and with a couple of exceptions, the interior was put together nicely. An optional gauge package added a nice touch, but the clock lost nearly 30 minutes in one week, and the fuel and temperature gauges were jammed for most of that time. Simulated wood looked very good, and Spirit's AM-FM stereo was excellent. Rear seat room on the Spirit liftback is not good. I'm only 5'5 five, five and a half, and I'm uncomfortable. Practically no leg room, and there is no headroom. If I sit up, my head touches the roof. As for luggage space, three pieces of our four-piece test luggage set fit in with the rear seats up. The fourth made it only with the rear seats down. The optional 258 six-cylinder engine in the Spirit performed quite well. Instant cold starts, lots of power, and no hesitation or stalling. Spirit does not ride as smoothly as the AMC Concorde, although its suspension is soft. The car was insulated well from outside noises, but various road conditions produced one or two rattles and an intermittent but annoying squeak. As for handling, I found the Spirit steering to be a bit loose, but the car was nimble nevertheless, mainly because of its size. It accepted hard turns and hard braking without complaint. The most disappointing aspect of the Spirit was the mileage. EPA rated at 17. I got only 13.8 miles per gallon in city driving with the air conditioning on. That's the kind of mileage you'd expect from a bigger car with a V8 engine. Now that's our look at the AMC Spirit. Next week on Behind the Wheel, the totally new Ford Mustang.